Hi there, this is a functions and graphs uh, video on straight line graphs. Just a couple of really quick um, reminders here, a bit of revision. Straight line graphs. Now we're asked to sketch x equals 7. Now we might have to extend the, uh, the graph here. This is x equals 7. It looks like it might be a y equals type thing, but not really. If you think about it, each of the points on this here, like this would be the point 7, 1 for example, then we've got the point 7, 2, and up here a bit further, 7, 4. Can you, so you can kind of see the x always equals 7, that's how I remember it. For all these points, just have a think about the points that lie on the line that you're proposing to have for this particular sketch, and see if it's true that x equals 7 in every case. That sort of tells you how to uh, whether to draw these vertically or horizontally. A lot of students have trouble between those two. Okay, y equals 4. I'm here to tell you that's the line there. And if we, once again, if we had a look at a couple of points here, this would be the point 2, 4. This one here would be the point 4, 4. Over here we might have minus 3, so uh, in this case the y values always equal 4 and hence the uh, equation of the line there. So that's a good way of uh, just double checking yourself. This one y equals x. Now we're looking for points I guess whereby uh, we have 1 1 because that's uh, our x value and our y value the same there. 2 2 3, 3, 4, 4, etc. So it's no surprise there if you think about it that that's going to be our line y equals x. And a quick example here to remind you <clears throat> this is our y intercept so we could start with that um, on the y axis and this is our rise and our run. We think of this as 2 over 1. That's our rise and that's our run. So if we rose 2 from here, 1, 2, and ran 1 so that we have a right hand leaning type line. Uh, this might remind you of uh, all that uh, coordinate geometry, the line work you did in junior school. But uh, in the end that's where it should be positioned. We have a y-intercept of uh, 3. And for every 2 that uh, the graph rises, it runs 1 and it leans to the right because that number in front of the x is a positive, meaning great positive gradient leans to the right. So I hope that uh, reminds you of what you need to remember for some uh, obvious lines. Just ran through a few key examples there. I hope that helps. I know it's only quick, but it's a good refreshing of your memory. Catch you next time.